2014 season kicked off at the Wastelands in Nanaimo, and it was the MX2 boys off the line first. Guess what? Kevin Benoit, whole shot! Inside on Moffenbauer, gets the first photo win, and then gets a gift in the second. He takes the overall sweep with a big fist pump from Jerome. As we go to the podium, it's gonna be a red plane in Kamloops for Big Kevin. Welcome to round two of the 2014 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. Today from the Whispering Pines MX track just north of the beautiful city of Kamloops, British Columbia, Mark Travers and Brian Coster in the booth. And of course, our racing today will be brought to you by Motovan.com. Fab's the Whispering Pines track, one of my favorites, sand, 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 as we see the MX2 pilots coming out of staging. Topher Ingalls on that two-stroke RTR KTM gets the fastest qualifying time. Yeah, unbelievable on that uh, lighter weight, high horsepower, two-stroke mechanic air, pushing her to the line. Okay, Fab, let's get caught up with the points in the MX2 class after one of 10 rounds. Of course, Kevin Benoit with that red plate. We saw him out there, two moto wins. Offenbauer, Politelli, Wentland, and Ingles rounding out your top five. Right behind them, Dylan Wright, Jeremy Medaglia. We can only expect better things from him as he gets used to like Privateer hero Legad, Petruska, and Schmoke. Okay, gate work is complete. We're going out on parade. As usual, opening ceremonies, top five going out. Great shot of Austin Politelli. This is his home track, especially for that Monster Energy Kawasaki team. John Malfenbeier lifting up the front wheel, looking good with that Rockstar Yamaha. Brian, MX2 Skinny, what are we going to see today? Well trapped. There's 75 qualifiers, gets down to 40 riders, two motos, 25 points per moto. When you tally it up, whoever gets the most points is our winner. <laughs> nice work, Fabs. All right, let's get to the Whispering Pines racetrack. Nestled on the North Thompson River, basically a flat, sandy surface with a lot of obstacles. I love this track. It is a spectacular facility. A couple years ago, they moved the track a little bit more north, away from that bottomless sand, a little bit more loamy down at this end of the track, and it actually some hard pack and rocks hiding under there. And it is going to get rough and choppy. MX2 pilots coming in from parade. We're ready to drop the gate next. This is the 2014 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. Mark Travers and Brian Coster in the booth as we get ready for the first MX2 Moto of the Day from the Whispering Pines Racetrack. And this moto will be brought to you by Royal Distributing. The lovely Amanda bringing the Moto 1 board across. My goodness, is that a nice smile. Kyle with the 30 board up. Sir Paul Kingsley at a spot. And we are ready to go racing, Fabs. What a great day. The sun is out in this gorgeous valley. A mild breeze, perfect conditions for racing. Freezy first pick, actually second pick there on the inside beside hometown favorite Politelli. Gate is down, Brian, coming to this huge long left-hand sweeper. Let's go on board with the MX-101 Yamaha. Sean Robinson, the two-stroke, back a little bit. Oh, huge little bumper in the corner, and Freezy gets that real distributing hold. Man, oh man, I don't know why Topher didn't pick that inside gate because it looked like it had really good traction coming out. Freezy just walked up on that Smart Top Moto Concepts Honda. The leaders through the Honda corner. Great visuals here, Brian. A very wide track, not as choppy as we're going to see it yet as those lines develop. But I love the way this surface allows the riders to flow. Absolutely. There's lots of room for everyone. And you can see Politelli going wide. Benoit with a great start right there in second on the Royal Distributing Machine. And that is, no, not Politelli. It's the number four of Jerry Medallia making moves on Redemption Racing, Seth Rarick. Nice to see Rarick up in the top five right now. He is also on a two-stroke, so this track actually could work for the two-stroke today, couldn't it? Yeah, they're great in their qualifying round, so we'll see in race conditions. See the dark portions are where the water has been dumped on the track, and the lighter parts are drier, so these riders have to be a little cautious on the opening laps. Now, we want to talk about our leader in the number 719, Vince Freeze, Michael Leslie's teammate. He didn't have the first round that he wanted, DNF in the second moto, talk this week about how he thought he was the dominant guy in the field right now gets the whole shots in the lead let's see what he does with it <laughs> well this sport is all about confidence if you can't believe in yourself you can't even fathom the podium so all about confidence and talking smack is all part of the game fabs watch his hand come off the bars right out of the gate freezy with a quick recovery still staying on the gas i love that stuff and then coming into the first corner detail the shot Wow, that was unreal. They come into the left-hander. Boy's going wide there with Rarick, but it's at 719 with that Royal Distributing. Holy shit! Yeah. 
Breezy right now in the lead. Benoit close second, Rarick in third, and here comes the 22 of Little Muff. So that means that Medallia has fallen back slightly. Oh, oh look at that front end slide for Little Muff. And yeah, I was just gonna comment on all the mud on the front of Sean Moffenbeier. He's been eating it. He wants to get out of it, trying super hard. A simple low slide. Oh, look at that, the number 17. Ooh. That's the FXR Honda of Kyle Swanson off the track as Wendling gets by. You see how he waited there for a second yeah. to get back on? Paul Atelli with an issue just coming out of Mechanics Row. Wow, this is big news for Paul Atelli. Back to Swanson, a real heads-up move. He will not be docked. He did the right thing there. I think he was a little too generous. Fab's a pair of two strokes for third. We got the 38 of Rare Redemption Racing. And look at the RTR. Two stroke of Ingles on the inside. The one thing I love about Topher Ingles is how aggressive he is on the track. And I like the fact that he's riding the two stroke. That bike is set up for him. These are very similarly prepared motorcycles. Jeremy right now has got the captain's chair here on this battle. Now, Jeremy hasn't had much time on that Kawasaki at all, sitting fifth. I think he's going to improve as he comes to terms with the new motorcycle. Not a lot of testing been done there for him. Most definitely, and he's got the Wizard Grand Pro working his suspension now, which I think is going to be a big thing for him. Absolutely. Now, we want to watch these bikes. Look how rough and tumble this track is. The body English, the motorcycles working under them. The riders that are relaxed and let the bike do its thing are going to have a lot more energy towards the end of the motos where it counts. This combination section, Brian, that tabletop to double and then around the corner into this gigantic double is one of my favorite parts of the track. When you're standing next to it, it's impressive to see how high they go. Oh, Benoit with a problem. He was in second. He has fallen back dramatically. Yes, on the back section, we got to report those high-speed rollers after this big double. He ate it big time. Lucky he's back up and running because it was a violent crash. To our leader, the number 719 of Vince Freeze in cruise control right now, Brian, and he looks fantastic on this track. Great line choice. He's a stand-up rider. I like the way he keeps his feet up in the pegs until the last second, drops his foot out. But we've got racing now. Wetland by Rarick for third place. Jesse Wetland, MX101 Yamaha, filled in last year on KTM, impressed enough to nail down a great ride this year. Well, has been one of the fastest guys in the series so far for sure, but I'm very impressed with Rarick right now. He's been holding his own in the top five. Great start for him as we move ahead. Topher Ingles in second place right now, Jerry Medallia in third. Rarick, one of the riders that came in for the East last year in MX1, <laughs> and he also impressed enough to nail a ride down here with Redemption Racing, and there's Freezy just working it overtime. There's lots of people on the track that aren't necessarily, a, oh my, look at this battle right here. Hoyer and Swanson through the motorman corner. You want to talk about on the pipe, fabulous. This is a high-speed racetrack. The riders get to use the upper gears. Here comes the 22 Moffenbeier, perhaps one of the fastest riders on the racetrack now, sitting in fifth after that low slide. He always seems to be playing catch up, that kid. And now we have the 34 of Dylan Wright and the number 17 of Kyle Swanson. So Swanson's in the mix today, right? And I love the number 34, the rookie Dylan Wright, ultra fast, big man on the motorcycle. Right on the two stroke 250 Yammy last year, showcasing their 2014 four stroke with the fuel injection as things for second are getting pretty hot. Look at young Jeremy. He's worked his oh. way up, but now Topher wants a piece of it. Through the Rockstar Dragon Vax, Medallia with the inside line cuts Topher off. Wow, impressive. And it's interesting the different styles of the different kinds of bikes. That's what I love about this. I love that section there as they transition to the start straightaway. Wow. Uber high, fast, semi GP. Oh. There's Freezy putting on a bit of a clinic right now, having fun. You know, those motor concept guys always smiling. I think they're digging it up here, Canada. With Swanson with a problem. Swanson with an issue. As we get to Medallia, right now the battle is for third place between Topher Ingles and Jesse Whalen. You're right. Look at how rough it is as they bounce through there. My goodness, line choice around here everywhere. And this is the first photo of the day. This is the smoothest this track is going to be. So it's only going to get rougher. Line choice, everything. And uh, Roost, you see that? That can really contaminate the goggles. My point before about Freezy, not everybody likes his style. I happen to like his style, actually. I love the way he gets back on the saddle. And as you said, a stand-up rider. Well, I think it's not necessarily his riding style that they're critical of. It's his, he's just so tough. He doesn't give a quarter to anybody. He doesn't care who it is. He's one of the hardest riders out there to pass. He's all shoulders and elbows. Look at this battle. Moffenbeier is on the gas. Rockstar Yamaha, does he have angles? I think that's for fourth place. And here comes Benoit. Holy mackerel, he's made up a ton of spots, Brian. 
Ooh, there's some nasty hard square edge bumps all around this track. These guys are earning their keep today in the loops. Moffenbar up to fourth. Now the battle's for fifth. Benoit on the inside takes care of Ingles. Ingles looks like he's slowing down. Looks like he's getting a little tired. He's been under siege the whole moto. <laughs> there has been no rest for any of these guys. Loving what I'm seeing from the number four sitting second. He needs this big time for his confidence. Now the battle is for fourth place. Benoit, who had a big crash earlier in the moto, was way back in 11th. Has got Moffin Barney on the cutback, Brian, through that Marine corner. What a spectacular pass. Man, this is almost like chess the way the setups are being played out. What an experienced pass by Benoit. He totally had Moffin Barney deep right out of his jock strap. Big story in this moto was the problem that the number one of Austin Politelli had earlier in the moto. Right now, he's crossing the finish line in 17th, getting his last lap flag. That's difficult for points. To our leaders, the number 719, Moto Concepts, smart top rider Vince Breezy, who got the whole shot, has led wire to wire, Brian. This is big for this championship, having Vince out front right now. He's just cruising in now. He's got only a couple more quarters to go. Looks back, and uh, he's got to be super stoked. There's another moto to go, so not too much elation there. He's got to be feeling good. Welcome back to Whispering Pines Raceway here in the beautiful Kamloops. The track is littered with Kamloopian fans to the Yamaha leaderboard. Wetland, wow, third. Got to like Hoyer, Ingles, Got a report, had no back break. Schmoke, De Silva, Swanson settles for 10. T-Nuggets with Breezy. Taking the win in the first MX2 moto here from the loops is the 719 Moto Concept rider, Vince Freezy. Vince, a very dominant ride out there. You got the whole shot, led wire to wire. You must have felt comfortable on a difficult track. Yeah, it felt really good. The track got a lot a lot rougher as, as the race went on. And uh, I, I can't thank the team, the Smart Top Moto Concepts team enough for, for giving me a fast bike and uh, helping me get off to the start and make it easy for me. I, I, uh, the track, track's really tough today. I lost my back brake about halfway, and it, you know that that slowed me up a little bit. But I kind of I had a good lead, and uh, you know I got out to a, a clean start. The track was really muddy at the beginning of the race, so it was good to get out there and not have to worry about mud in my my eyes and being able to see and got a clear track. So I found the, the smooth lines and able to ride it almost maybe a little smoother with no back brake. So it was, uh, it was a good race. We'll uh, get the bike fixed back up for this next one, make a few changes. I think I'd be a little faster. Talk to me about that track out there because obviously we were watching it during qualifying and practice and it was really starting to roughen up. It looked dangerous out there. It looked really good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, there's so many lines to choose from, but uh, they all seem to blow out. So it's you got to watch yourself. And uh, like Benoit, he washed his front end out. I saw that. So that's a key thing, you know, just having clean, consistent laps and uh, staying up. with their track, Die With Me, hang out with us. We've got the second MX2 Moto Boys ready to do battle. Welcome back to the Whispering Pines MX track as we get ready for MX2 Moto 2. Hey, race fans, don't forget about the CMRC MX page on Facebook, a great way to stay in touch with this series, and also mxnationals.ca. The second MX2 Moto will be brought to you by Max, a great place to get your ice-cold rock star beverages. We see Kyle with the 30 board up, Sir Paul Kingsley overseeing the proceedings as we're getting ready to rock and roll here. Nestled beside that North Thompson out there, Brian, what a great shot. <laughs> you don't want to get in that river. There's quite Quite a cold current. Back to business on the line. Freezy on the inside. Moffenbeyer and Benoit just a drift of them. One of my favorite starts, Brian. Really long sweeper. They give up a lot of speed, but then they have to get out of the binders, and it gets choppy in this Royal Distributing Corner. Look at this. Freeze is going for the triple crowd. 
both pull shots, and we saw Wetland just get pulled out of that start shoot. Some great visuals on board with the 28 MX-101 Yamaha, Sean Robinson. Oh! Robinson goes down to that first corner. It's a tough place to be, Brian, when you're bunched up and you don't get a great start. Robinson keeps her going. He's back on the motorcycle. Let's head up to the lead. Left part of the screen, Freezy with the lead. Benoit in second. Looks like the first moto all over again, Brian. I'm telling you, for Robinson, when you go down at the start like that and get back up, you are so fired up. Your adrenaline is pumping. You're angry. It's a really good time to pull in some fast lap times. Our leader, Freezy, gets the world distributing whole shot. And as you said, Brian, he doubles up today against the triple crown. Benoit in second. Medallia with a great start in third. Wendlin looking good. Moffenbauer looking good. And here comes Paul Telly. Oh, Holy mackerel, they are all together right now at the beginning of the moto. When you see all these guys, it really makes you realize how much talent we have in the MX2 class. And you can see that shiny part again, very slippery, a little bit overwatering for the start for these guys. And uh, the roost, when a rider in front of you gets in that mud, it just covers you. Goggles, you're going to have to relinquish a tear off there. So great battling on the track. You got Wentley and Moffenbeier going at it. This is the kind of stuff we like to see, Brian. And here's that tabletop double we talked about. Yeah, you got to stay low on that tabletop to get down, especially on these 250s, to get up and over this huck of a double. So the riders have to check up on that table to land, get the traction back down. Replay on board with Robinson. There was a big pile up there, Brian. Look at that rider oh, in midair. Oh, bam! That's going to hurt. And we didn't get a number on which rider there was, but a huge collection of them earlier on. And here's that whole shot again for Freezy. Triple crown. Picture wow. perfect. Almost looks like the first moto with Benoit, Medallia, Wetland all up in the mix. Really pushing wide, though. That's the one thing about having that inside gate pick. Mountain by a little slippery going into the Dragon's back. Paul Telly goes inside. Wow, he hit a kicker and just knocked him. Totally askew, saves it, but loses the position. And this is good for Politelli. He had big issues in the first moto and DNF'd. Good Moffenbeier on the gas as they get back into that start sweeper. Moffenbeier on the inside has Politelli. Wow, <laughs> that's all I can say about a little muff is wow. That's what you call a burn buster right there. He just oh, through Wendland's over the bars. Wendland is down in the same spot that Moffenbeier went down in the first moto, so that corner is already showing that it's got some problems. Taking prisoners all over this Cam Loops track. Breezy right now with that stand-up style. Just loving riding the Honda here. He likes this loose soil, obviously. Benoit in second place, back to the number four of Jeremy Medallia on that Thor Kawasaki. He looks a lot better today than he did last weekend, Brian. He must have done some testing. Whoa. Moffenbeier out into that drift corner, high side. Looks like Ingles gets by, and Paul Telly's in four, so a nice little cluster here. And the ruts are starting to form. Bumps are getting bigger and bigger, both braking and acceleration bumps. Freezy totally on the pipe right now, but Benoit is catching up. And he has got him in his sights, man. And how about Benoit running the red plate, Brian? That means he's leading the points in this class. Medallia is keeping those riders in his sights as we get back to the number 38 of Seth Rarick, who had a great first moto. And here comes Kyle Swanson, FXR Honda on that Prairie Hill team. He is on the pipe on the outside, over the finish line, gets that inside line. I love how aggressive Swanson is from Texas. Yeah, all the way from Austin. And that is one rock and roll town, and he is made his way up to Canada yet again. See if Moffenbeier can get back on Ingles after he lost that position, stuffed himself in the rut big time. Lap rider there tags into him. He's going to get up. I don't think he's got the thing run and the clutch is out. He's going to have to re-kick this thing over. Swanson and Rarick get by as we look at our leader, the number 719, Vince Freezy, who's hucking and bucking his way through this Whispering Pines track. Back to Benoit in second, who has definitely fallen back. Daryl Murphy with the blue flags. And you're right, Freezy is starting to check out. Oh, look at the lines here. The nice. difference between Benoit and Freezy hitting them, jumping them, manualing them. There is nowhere to rest on this rough and tumble camp with track. Nice shot of Legat, and he is being hunted down by Robinson after his big crash. 15th place, Robinson cuts across. This is great stuff for that MX-101 two-stroke on the Frenchman Legad, also running the two-stroke. Beautiful line for Robinson. I love the way the lines drift out of the corners. That was a great example of Robinson using that to make the pass. Wow, 
two strokes are making a comeback in this sport, Brian, and that they're made for this class. Ooh, and that is a huge dragon's back triple there. Robinson handles a new problem. Okay, the 22 of Sean Laffenbeier is back on the bike. Now he is chasing down the... Oh, my, Brian! What a huge high side. That was the 34 of Dylan Wright. We talked about him, a rookie in this series, and that is a big crash. The broadcast does not show the depth of these ruts. That is so difficult. This is one of the hardest sections of the track. Wright, a huge victim of circumstance. Here he comes. He's on the gas. He knows Moffenmeyer's coming. Gets a little cross up. Classic high side. Bike lands on him. He is right in there. It's like, okay, just bury me now. <laughs> <laughs> he is down deep. Tough young kid, though. Oh. Almost made a rubber back up on the bike. I like to see that. That was a violent crash. To the number 24, Kevin Benoit, as we see him coming through that tabletop section. Brian, we talked about it. Staying low and then getting on that big double. You've got to carry it. Brian, it looks like we've got a Cowie in second place, and it's Politelli. Not Medallia, so big turn of events in our top three. Holy smoke, so off camera. Some problems for the number four after showing so well in the first photo. There he is. Looks like, let's see if he's got any dirt on it, on the side of him, if he had a tip over. But right now, sitting fifth. To our leader, the 719 of Vince Freezy, Moto Concepts Honda. Looks spectacular out in the lead. Backing up the quotes from this week when he said he's the boss dog. He looks like it right now. Well, you think back to last week, if he had some good moto finishes, he'd be in the hunt for the championship lead right now. It sounds cocky to say such a statement, but mentally, look what it's doing. He won the first moto, two hole shots. He's out front. Maybe he's right. To the 17 of Kyle Swanson, sitting in sixth place, Brian, coming up to get his last lap flags. He's been pretty good this weekend. I love his style. He's kind of raw around the edges. I like that. Yeah, he goes for broke for sure. He is uh, a very rough and tumble, tough kid. Rides his bike real well. He's been liking the Hondas the last couple years, and uh, he's got a few guys back home helping him out. You know, the more I watch the track and the layout right now, Brian, it's a lot like Gopher Dudes. Not as deep with the sand, but I'm still seeing all those choppy sections. I really like the way this track is set up today. Just Freezy doing a little rear wheel tap off those bumps, finding the smoother way around here for the last time. His mechanics are telling him the gap. He's got a large gap to second, so he's just bringing her home. Grueling moto, suspensions get so hot, bikes start to really handle awkwardly towards the end. It gets more and more difficult. Breezy, not a problem, takes the win. Two hole shots, Brian. Two moto wins. That's 50 points. That puts him back into the championship hunt. Let's get to our Yamaha leaderboard. Well, we know our uh, Breezy, but how about Politelli coming out of nowhere to better Ingles and Medallia? Swanson is best ever. How about Hoyer, Schmoke, Seth Rarick settles for 10th. The red plate means he is the overall winner from last week, but this week I'm going to take second overall, but a nice, safe weekend for you, Kevin. It was a bit tough out there, a couple crashes in Moto1, but uh, good points for that championship. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was a weird day. I had crashes in both motos, and um, I tried the best I could to, to save that. I mean, it uh, could have been worse, could have been better, but uh, it's a long series, and uh, yeah, I'm still happy with uh, the ending of today. A great rebound moto here from the tough one and moto number one for Austin Politelli, buddy. It's got to make you feel good because that tough one, that first moto there was a little tough, but great points and still fighting for the title. Yeah, definitely. Uh, first moto just had, uh, I think a rock got stuck in my, my brakes. I made my front brake lock up in the air. But, uh, I mean, yeah, second moto was, was decent. Got got a good amount of points, so I just need to put my head down. And long season, so uh, there's still a chance I know I can get it done. What a great day of racing. MX two points after two rounds. Benoit, good damage control. Moffenbeier, not a great day, still maintains second. Look at how tight the points are out here. Man, oh, man, we are in for an awesome series. Don't forget to like CMRC MX on Facebook and go to mxnationals.ca for all the updates and the goodies you need to know about the series. Nice job, Fabulous. There's our top three in MX2. It's been one heck of a day here at the Loops. You have been watching the 2014 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross National. Brought to you by Motovan.com, Canada's source for power sports, parts, and accessories. Nice job, Travs. I want to thank the Kamloops Motocross Club for all the hard work they put in this week. A special thanks to Ross Thompson, Ryan Gold, and of course, Mark Stolypra.